Hello, everybody. Welcome to Leet Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco. I'm here with Scott Larson. Yes, Larson. Uh, he's with Holiday Inn. Um, actually, I'm not going to do the review first. We'll, we'll talk about what, who you are and what you do and what you brought here to the penny party first. Absolutely. Uh, tonight we uh, we featured uh, a set of paninis that uh, we cooked right here on site. We brought our panini griddle right over here to, um, and uh, just did them one at a time or two at a time, set them up. But uh, uh, on the presentation, what you'll see a lot of the all of the peppers and the basil and the herbs and the thyme are all cooked right in our herb garden at the hotel. It's a rooftop herb garden, and we use a lot of uh, a lot of those ingredients to help with our paninis. But we served a uh, grilled chicken panini with uh, provolone cheese. It had uh, Roma tomato, and then uh, had a, uh, our sacred sauce is uh, garlic cilantro mayonnaise. It's no longer secret. We had a, uh, a ham and uh, cheese panini, and that was just done really, really thin and crispy. Um, we did a uh, mozzarella and tomato and uh, basil right out of our garden. Served that with a uh, olive oil that had lots of herbs in it, garlic again, with all that in the garden. And then uh, the last panini this evening was a uh, roasted vegetable panini, red peppers, uh, uh, portobello mushrooms, and a number of other items, a um, num number of other uh, vegetables uh, just roasted. And we make these every day fresh at the Holiday Inn. They're kind of a signature item for our Java Cafe that's also our signature Starbucks. And um, that's, uh, that's what we did tonight, and some cookies. Yes, um, I've already had some of this. It's really good. Um, really like that. I had the chicken. I haven't had the ham yet. Um, they're, they're great. Now, is this something like uh, this is something you serve in the cafe, or is this like a special events type of thing? No, this is in our cafe every day. We have uh, we have a Java cafe in the restaurant at Starbucks. We do uh, smoothies, frappuccinos, everything you can do there. These are our quick sandwiches uh, they take a few minutes to go but we can prep them have them all ready to roll and uh, turn them out very quickly have uh, two commercial panini griddles we can do a number of them at the same time okay great um, we're gonna go ahead and do the wine real quick now this is something picked up at the HEB plus uh, this past week it is the uh, JM Fonseca twin vines vino rosé vino just means vine and uh, wine in Portuguese it's from Portugal, 2008. Got it for a total of six dollars at HEB. Now we bought actually two of these because they were two for twelve. And um, I don't know anything else really about the winery other than it's uh, in the uh, Terras Dosado region. And uh, unfortunately, even the uh, distributor Palm Bay International does not have any information about this wine. They only have the Vino Verde wine. So um, really, kind of confused as to why they wouldn't have this in there, but we'll check it out. Um, rosés are great in summertime. Um, they're great with sandwiches. They're light. Uh, they're not necessarily sweet. Uh, I already kind of smelled this a little bit. It's more of a dry rosé. We're not talking like white Zinfandel, which is really sugary sweet. So let's check it out. So it's definitely not sugary, um, not much alcohol, it's only 11%, which is good because you don't want rosés to kill you. I guess I'm getting like some, maybe like a little bit of strawberry out of it. Not much else. Let's taste it, see how it is. Okay, so... I'm definitely getting, I'm still getting that kind of strawberry red fruit flavor out of it. Um, and just now, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of sweetness, almost like a Kool-Aid, but it's not really overly sweet. It's not, like I said, it's not like drinking a, a white Zinfandel that's really, that's really sweet. Um, even almost like kind of grape, which kind of a dub, but you don't normally taste grape in wine, unless you're drinking like American varietals like we did about a month ago, we had the, uh, the uh, Balich wine, uh, very grapey, very like peanut butter and jelly grapey, it really was. Um, so let's see, how, let's see how it pairs up with the, uh, with the paninis. Hi, Alan. Are you filming? Mm -hmm. yeah. Hi, Alan. Right there. 
no problem. Al Wiregrass coming in to get some, some sandwiches? Go ahead. Absolutely. What do you want? It's a roasted, uh, roasted uh, yeah, apples that, right there. That's what I like. Yeah. So I'm having the chicken one, um, which I really like. And I put some of the oil on both of these because I had that before. It was really good. All fresh herbs mm -hmm. in the oil. It's a very... Um, I think it pairs really well. Um, it's a nice, nice light wine to uh, to drink with the sandwiches. Uh, one second here. It's not going down. There we go. Sorry about that. Food got a little stuck there. Um, the the wine pairs pretty well with it. Um, nice, fresh. It's clean. It's crisp, and it goes really well with with the flavoring of the um, of the panini. I'm going to try this with the ham. Mmm. Sweet with ham. I think this is going to go Here really go. well. Yeah, I think I think it plays really. Uh, it pairs really well with the ham. Um, get a little bit of that sweetness, um, a little of that red fruit in it, that little red fruit play. Uh, I think it goes really well with the ham and the, and the herbs. Um, totally, I mean, if you guys are not drinking rosé, I know it's pink and pink wines have that bad reputation because everyone thinks of Sutter Home White Zinfandel, which is outside there. Um, but if you haven't had a rosé, try to find rosés. Portugal is great because they're cheap. As in price, not in quality. Um, Portugal's great. Uh, Spain makes a lot of good rosés, and uh, I highly recommend it in South Africa too. So uh, that's it for the for the review. Oh, for the wine itself, I'll give it a um, I'll give it an 86. I keep forgetting to put these scores on here when I do these sales by five things. So um, I like to thank sales by five as always for the pity party. Uh, Scott Larson over at uh, Holiday Inn. Uh, really appreciate you coming in and providing a bunch of food for us. Uh, it's a great spread, and thank you for being another, one of my guests. And thank you. I give uh, the paninis a 95. Exactly. <laughs> totally. 98, 99. These paninis are great. They're outstanding. Please uh, We'll see everybody again next time. Thanks for watching.